This is Harald the Berserker. Don't ask me how I know his name. Anyway, he shall be my first miniature that I paint with a wet palette. Let's get started. With a Tupperware, a dishcloth and some baking paper you can easily make your own wet palette. Bird from Goober Town Hobbies and Emil from Squidmar Miniatures have really great tutorials on their channel. I can also think of Lila Meth the Mini Witch. On her channel there is a really good video about different techniques you can do with a wet palette. I link you the videos in the description. But what is a wet palette? In short, thanks to the moisture in the sponge the paint does not dry out. In addition, it's really easy to mix and dilute colors on the baking paper to achieve very fine gradients. For the painting I've taken about 6 hours, because it was my first time I used a wet palette and have tried some different gradients. The base I built from XPS foam and plaster. It's nothing special, but I think it rounds off the overall picture and Harald comes out even better. It's really cool what you can build with these materials. Cheap and looks good. Once the rough shape is cut out of the XPS, I glue plaster pieces to it for which I have previously painted the plaster on crumbled aluminium foil. This gives a rocky texture. The gaps are still speckled something. Then after drying everything is primed black and painted grey. With a sponge I add some green next to the stream to create some moss. Then comes the self-built grass master to use. If you want to have a tutorial for it, write it to me in the comments. Water texture from Vallejo gives you a really good water effect. With some white paint on the elevations and the snow texture, you still get a great spray effect. Time to breathe some more life into the landscape. The best way to do that is with some simple brushes. Now Harald can look out for enemies from the cliff. His watch has begun. Of course, a skull on the base may not be missing. What do you think? Now, before we come to the result, leave me a like if you liked the video. This helps me to implement even more exciting projects. And now, the final result. If you like skeletons and goblins, then check out this video here. Bye!